Hey guys, how you doing today? Thought I'd make a little video here, trying to simplify this DPF system and these Cummins six, seven liters, uh, the Dodges. Uh, kind of give you a general guideline of how to easily diagnose them quickly and correctly. I've already hooked my scanner up to it. Uh, customer complaint pretty much is low power, lack of power, uh, increased fuel consumption, and smoke coming out of the tailpipe. It'll, it'll fire, it'll crank, it'll run right off the bat, but it smokes, and it's all, always throwing the accumulation filter ash full, 70%, 80%, and it tries to do what's called a regen on the road, or a de-soot. Anyways, my trouble codes for the PCM was a P24F, P242F, ash accumulation high. We also had a P2463, soot accumulation. We also had a P1507, a current case filter restriction, and a P1451 DPF system performance low. Anytime you get a performance low in a diesel uh, DPF system, anytime you get catalytic convert catalytic converter efficiency low you're looking at pretty much the sensors sense that the converter is out of spec out of parameter I took the liberty of going ahead and taking these RAM and this 5.7 liter Cummins uh, DPF off and took the next filter off Ash accumulation, easy thing, man. If you're getting this code all the time, a P242, the ash accumulation, the, the, the DPF uh, system performance low, if you're always getting those codes, no matter how much you clear them, no matter how much you deep, no matter how much you regen them or desoot them, um, this is the best way to tell. If you have a scanner, if you don't have a scanner, I'm gonna just show you two ways. If you don't have a scanner and if you do, because these literally took me 45 minutes to take off, I timed it, and it was literally a handful of tools. Okay, the fastest way is with a scan tool. I'm not gonna get into that because I do not have the scan tool in front of me to show you any numbers and get into all that uh, sens sensorial things and differences and back pressures and so we're gonna make this simple. Literally, if you suspect the DPF and literally all you have to do is billow smoke every time you take off somewhere. Come down here and look at this tailpipe. See how black it is? First signs right here, look. There's your first signs. That's soot. So if you got that, you automatically know something ain't going good in the hen house. The fox is in the hen house. Let's take a peek under here, guys. You see where the first filter comes off and that part just goes right up to the, the exhaust manifold back of the turbo. Um, it's fairly simple. It just slip joint in the back. You've got about four or five sensors. But once you get it off to confirm, it's as simple as this. I'll just lay the paper down here to reiterate how bad they are. This is your first filter in the system. There is one more in there. Oh, it's a smaller one. I'm going to mess with that later, but these two are stopped up so I know that that one is definitely stopped up it's number one in the system so this I mean if you look through it you can actually see light well not my demonstration but if you do look through it sorry for the camera guys balancing a lot of things you can see the light through it pretty decent see a couple pieces but stopped up DPFs converters carbon incinerators fuck they are it's all you gotta do you'll know an abundance so that I mean, this is just in the beginning I mean it's just pouring out it's wet soaked with gas or diesel 
Look, it has just a couple scrapings. And this is the back one. This one was a little worse. And this is the very back of it. Now the whole exhaust system is plumb. Filled with this crap. Let's see if we can get it spun around here. Get the backside samples. Just leave all the sensors in it. Just don't just unplug the sensors. Don't 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 go unscrewing sensors and, and shit underneath there. They're exhaust sensors. They're gonna stick, they're gonna hang, they're gonna be stubborn to get off. Don't fight that underneath the vehicle or above the lift. Just leave them in, just unplug them. Do that shit on the bench. Alright. That right there is, is more than enough. On my scan tool, I was reading ash accumulation. It's terrible. <laughs>